During the month of March, WKRG News 5 is celebrating remarkable women right here on the Gulf Coast. Every Tuesday during the 4 on 5, Roseanne Haven is bringing you stories of women making a difference in our community. And the woman you're introducing us today, Roseanne, accomplished a lot in 93 years. I'll say she did. The story of Julia Hart Box is one of perseverance. Her determination to accomplish what others said she couldn't led to advances in the medical field. She improved the safety of ambulances in Mobile, helped establish respiratory therapy departments at hospitals in our area, and helped create the first school of anesthesia for nurses here and served as the school's dean. Dr. Box blazed a trail during a time women were told to stay behind. That's my mother's family there. A scrapbook secures photos. This is my father and mother, mother. yeah. Depicting the history. <laughs> oh, this. Yes, picture. and that's the wedding. Of a remarkable woman. I can't see why, really. I mean, I don't, well, I just can't see it. <laughs> I have not done anything remarkable that I can say. Born in 1927, Julia Hartbox grew up during the Great Depression. At eight years old, a painful bone infection piqued her interest in medicine. My father wasn't interested in the girl going to school anyway, to college. He just laughed. He just thought it was stupid for to waste money on a girl going. But this girl wouldn't give up. I really think that what makes mom so special is, is just that amount of of, um, <laughs> I almost want to say hard-headedness. A trait she got from another remarkable woman. That came from my mother, I'm sure. <laughs> I, my mother was not one to back down on something. At 18 years old, her mother came to this country from Scotland on her own. She went into hairdressing and as they worked up and had her own shop. We had always had a shop in the house. Julia would put herself through college, graduating from the University of Alabama, where she applied for medical school. The head of admissions turned her down. He said quite flatly he was not considering any women. She watched men in her class receive invitations from Tulane's medical program. Despite having better grades than theirs, Hers never came. I just went down to New Orleans without an invitation. She would meet her husband in medical school at Tulane. In 1961, they moved to South Alabama, had three children, and Dr. Julia Box became the first female anesthesiologist in Mobile. Main thing I'd say is if, if you want it, don't let somebody say you can't do it. I mean, and don't sit back and expect somebody to give it to you. Just get out there and start working on it. Dr. Bach shares with me that she's done a lot of praying over the years, chairs, especially when she was in pain from that bone infection. She says the good Lord was looking out for her. She got what she wanted and she is most grateful and we are grateful for her contributions. Now next Tuesday during the four on five, I'll introduce you to another remarkable woman on the Gulf Coast. Cherish. She's a very cool story. Yes, I love thank these. Thanks, Roseanne. Too.